What's up, guys? So, <clears throat> if you guys just watched those um, monkfish videos, I want to explain how to set them up. Now, obviously, fishing monkfish is not like the meta or anything. And if you saw in the video, um, at the very end, all the spots ran out from this area. So, that'll just happen. Um, and it's just RNG based. But for the most part, I think you could probably stay for a good half hour and then I think like every half hour or so there won't be a spot. I don't know the average exactly, but basically um, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So I'm going to untag these. So you're going to have to find two of the skeletons in here that are aggroed onto you when you run over to these corners over here. So basically what I do to set it up so if you're like obviously this takes this takes a little bit of work to set up but basically I throw darts at each one of these guys and then what I do is and they won't they won't just leave the place like they're like stuck anyway so what you do is you want to run over here this corner and then this corner and then you're gonna run back and you're gonna see which ones are aggroed on you still should be two so these guys see how they're see how they're targeting me so now I'm gonna tag these guys so what you want to do now is you're gonna go all the, as long as one's right there yeah you're gonna you're gonna push one to the very edge you're gonna equip either a dragon spear or a zami hosta you're gonna hit him out of here and then him from that side now basically at this point you just lure him to wherever like literally you can just have him like anywhere over here and then for this guy um, if he's trapped by that door we'll first have to get spec back if he's trapped by that door though I'll just show you what to do quickly oh he's not stuck that was convenient if he is stuck what you do is you just run like over here so he moves over and then just lure him out the door so now i'm going to hit him once go over here and then push him out as well and then you just keep pushing these guys keep going to your house push him over here like legitimately you could push him just to like right here and um the thing is if you don't have a crossbow and you only have an msb because you'll need i'm, I'm going to show you this out. well here i'll just i'll lure them over here just so you can so when he's right here, push him this way. So I'm assuming most people that do this probably won't have a crossbow. Um, this method is mainly for iron men that don't have a dragon harpoon or a tool seat, obviously. This is like a pretty good two tick method. Now, again, the spots eventually will just go away. But that at that point, you can just go to the bank, do some bank standing skills for a little bit. These guys, if, they, if they're not aggressive toward you, will only last five minutes and then they'll despawn. They'll go back in their house. So, um, but yeah, this method is probably good if you don't have a dragon harpoon or... Um, a crystal tool seed. Now, if you did just have a dragon harpoon, this is just about the same rate, but obviously, like I said, the spots go away after a while. So let's put these guys like, uh, I'm going to move this guy like two over and I'm going to grab my MSP and just, just, this is just a tutorial. It's not edited. I'm sorry, but let me go grab my MSP just for when I'm ready. So, and you need an MSB, and it's, it ha you have to have no arrows equipped. So, <clears throat> can't use anything that's, it has to be three tick. Um, so, and it has to be on rapid as well, the MSB. So, that's another thing to look for. Let's push this guy here. So, like, even this is fine. I'll, well, here, I'll push this guy one more. There you go. Anyway, so, 
even if you run out of their attack range, they'll still be aggro to you. So when you run back, they're they're both aggro. They're just waiting for you, but they don't move. They're the weirdest NPCs ever. They're like skeletal mystics from raids, except like little bitch versions. Anyway, um, so I grab darts because basically you can off tick them immediately. So if you're going here and you're about to start fishing, good, we have a spot. Basically what you do is you just keep your auto retaliate on, attack one, attack the other. Now they're off. Now they're exactly two ticked, so. And then you just go like that. And this is like the really chill method. You just keep your mouse here, just click every two ticks. And no matter where you run, so you can run over here. As soon as you see your dude turn, on the tick he turns, click the the fishing spot. So I'll run over here. Right there. That's when you click. And you just do this. Um, I think there is actually a way. This is pretty crazy. So if you, you're you going to have to unequip this blessing. But you can actually, again, I haven't tried this yet. But in my mind, I've been thinking of, what if you filled up with logs and then a tinderbox? and you lit a fire right here. And then you go in, but every one you catch, you quickly use it on the fire on the off tick and then go back. So you you wouldn't ever need the option. So basically it'd be like. It would be like that kind of. Anyway, I, I don't know how the hell you would like upkeep that. But that was a little idea I was thinking of. Anyway, now I want to show you what to do for that other spot. So this spot over here, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not going to be either of these guys, by the way, that the one you bring over there. So I am going to turn off this. Going to get them all lured just to see which one is which. I think there's two guys that can work, but I'm going to see. So I marked this tile. It is four tiles away from the wall. Or sorry, excuse me, five. Five tiles away from this wall. And then just up here. So this is the furthest distance that one of these skeletal mystics can go this way. So I mark the tile. And then you go back and see which one's still aggressive toward you. Um, okay, that's, that's a little awkward. Okay, I think it was four tiles to be fair. I think it was four tiles, so let me let me retry this. Let me set this up somewhere. It doesn't really matter if it's right there, to be honest, but let's just keep it right. It can be on this it can be on this row, but I'm gonna put it right here. Oh wait, not right there, right here. Okay, that's not five. Yeah, that's four. So you're gonna mark that tile. Aggro all of them. Not you, George. Then you're going to run over to the tile. And this method over here is the same thing as as um, any of like the two ticking anglers, two ticking dark crabs, those videos I have. So these two are aggroed, so that's perfect. You can choose one or the other. So I'm going to use this one. So now what you want to do is you want to lure him. Get him outside of that bed. Okay, he can still see me somehow. There we go. Now, instead of pushing him yet, I want to get him as close to this door as possible. So he run out here. And it's the same thing. You literally just go behind him, push him a million times with your D spear, keep going back to your house to restore or use like a desert ammy or something. And then you can push him here. And this is where you set up auto cast. And so when you have one here, I'm not going to lure him all the way over there, but you get the picture. You're going to lure him here. He'll only last there for five minutes, though, because as soon as you're out of this range, even if even if you were, like, over here fishing, his range is, like, this tile. So basically, you click him, click the spot, click him, click the spot. That's all you do with auto retaliate on. And you just collect your fish. And then, as you saw in the video, I cast an airstrike right here just so he aggresses toward me, which will reset the five minute timer. And then I just use this to deposit and I run back. Obviously this is a method to bank fish. So 
you can bank about a thousand monkfish an hour and get about 110k uh, XP an hour. And then this method obviously was like, uh, I think it was close to like 123k XP an hour, which again is really great if you're not, if you don't have a, like a dragon harpoon. And this is obviously at 99. Anyway, it's kind of, kind of neat. Um, I was kind of messed. Okay, so unfortunately, um, you can't really bank on. Well, you can bank on this side. I take it back. You can just throw your darts. You can you can go over here and you can fish, fish. So like, watch. Anyway, oh, that spot really just disappeared. Anyway, so you can collect your fish right here, and then you can actually use this banner. I gotta keep auto retaliate on. So basically, you would stay here. And this is obviously the way more chill version. The other version where you're clicking back and forth is just obnoxious, but does the job. Anyway, as soon as you fill up on fish, you could use this telly. Obviously, they're un they're un aggro to me as soon as I pass this line. And then you'd bank, run back, and then you just chuck the darts at them again. That would be a little bit slower than doing that method, but it's a lot more chill. And then you're set up again. You just go back at it. Anyway, it's kind of a fun little method. This is like a lot more chill, but it would, it would you'd probably only be able to get like 100k XP an hour. And that's assuming the spot doesn't disappear, but cool thing is if you know if all the spots are gone you just teleport to your bank real quick do some bank standing for like a couple minutes some spots will come back so this is a pretty chill method i feel like for most um i don't know reclined players that are just looking to bank some monkfish early game and you can do this really early game honestly you just gotta you gotta have some prayer pots or something just for your prayer but um like you could tell it your house first and then use the banner to restore on your prayer every so often. Kind of cool little method, kind of fun, figured it out. And um, you know what, while we're here, I want to see, I want to see if I can actually um, harpoon the, where's my harpoon at? There it is. I want to see if I can actually, here, I'm gonna menu entry swap and I'm gonna see if I, cause basically there's a harpoon option and that's for sorties and tuna. So let's switch that over. Okay, I off, I accidentally off ticked them. No, they're good, all right. Let's try to see if sorties work. Oh wait, this is what I was gonna try. I already know if this works. Um, what I was gonna try is I was gonna see if I can two tick like do the um, Do the auto retaliate or not the auto retaliate the uh, Spell against one so let me lose their aggression real quick I'm actually curious because in the fishing guild they patched it so You can't go in the fish. I don't know if it's just location specific. You can't do it in the In the fishing guild that what did I say crafting guild I meant the fishing guild I think they patched it so you can't um, like click a man or a duck or something and do it. But I want to see if it works here. Okay. So we're on harpoon. Wow, they actually just patched sorties. That's so strange because it's a harpoon spot. Like, I don't know. I don't understand. Okay, that's that's interesting to know. I just figured that out in this video. I guess you can't do it with harpooning. Um, but cool thing is if you have like a crystal harpoon, you can actually harpoon sorties and tuna here instead of doing an Episcalarius or whatever. Yeah, isn't that what it's called? I don't know what it's called. The fishing place in Zaya where most people go and they get the rats on you. They can actually do it here. But just that whole problem with the spots not, and again, like I think Zaya has that issue, but it's very, very, very rare to have all the spots leave there. But this happens a lot more commonly. So 
this is a nice little place if you're getting like crashed if people are killing your rats i guess you come over here they can they can obviously kill your mages but they won't know you're here um so yeah there's a lot of different things i at first when i came over here i thought this was a shark spot i thought that would be so cool to have a little shark spot here but no anyway i hope that helped you guys in some sort of way obviously not any meta breaking thing it's just simply if you need monkfish or you don't have a dragon harpoon kind of niche but hope you guys enjoyed and yeah catch you on the next one